hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm adi banjo faith and in today's video i'll be recommending children christian cartoons for children <laughs> what did i just say <laughs> pretend like you didn't hear that so today i'll be recommending christian cartoons for children yes with a lot of content out there for children to consume I discovered that there's no much we have we don't have so much um, Christian content and being an intentional and deliberate parent which is a message I'm also passing across to everyone everywhere I go and even on this channel I would like as much as I cannot delete totally screen time for my children I want to be able to control the quality of content that enters them and the first that I would definitely want them to take in are the Christian content so like I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my videos but I discovered that I told my child I think I'll leave the link somewhere here I told my daughter give us a song for devotion and she said <laughs> she started singing a Coco Melon song and I'm like wait you don't know any Christian song like give us Jesus song and I started deliberately playing fun interesting Christian cartoons for them so she, it was not easy at first she wanted Coco Melon at all cost and then gradually they enjoying some other Christian songs as babies they are now my children are between the ages of one and not even up to one and a half and two almost three now two years eleven months they are still within this phase where the ones the ones that we engage them hair should and isn't to and all of these songs and singing so i would recommend some songs and then the age bracket that i think will enjoy sorry some um, channels or cartoons or you know content for children that are christian and that children can enjoy so if you're interested in this please join me so in no particular order the first is listener kids right I this one of the songs I discovered or the YouTube channel now on YouTube specifically on YouTube is the listener kids so in this um, particular one they play um, different songs this one is purely animated and they play Christian songs I think all my recommendations are actually animated they play Christian um, Christian fun songs and children can dance and all of that so I would like you to check it out it would really engage the children or at least they would enjoy the sounds the tunes and some of them you can move your body some you may not move your body some are very calming and peaceful and all of that good stuff <laughs> the second is DG Bible songs so one major thing I've observed about DG Bible songs is that they use um, Bible stories to create a song there's one that I in fact is playing in my head right now even you as an adult you be you will enjoy it <laughs> really so please check dg bible songs out it is a very good recommendation i'm um, going back to listener kids listener kids i can recommend listener kids for for your baby like as small as of course i wouldn't recommend that you expose your child to screen time but let's say the truth some of sometimes we cannot avoid it right so listener kids definitely would do dg bible songs too also engage young children but my first for babies just the way Coco Melon engages children like that, the listener kids like that, something like that. The third is the Wesley puppets. Just like the name, they are puppets. Hello everyone. Yes, how do you do? <laughs> These puppets are amazing. My children's favorite now is the fruit of the speed. So it has different um different puppets singing different songs and the lead singer is a book puppet like a song book puppet please check it out you would enjoy the songs that they sing and they play so sometimes they have conversations conversations which leads to a song so it, children a little older and even younger children would enjoy it actually yeah next is super book like since i was young i have known super book i have known super book so super book <laughs> anytime any day anywhere super book engages older children now younger children might just sit down and just watch the drama and the running up and down but older children would begin to understand the concept of the bible through super book right 
So aside just singing songs, we know that children do not understand the meaning of the things they are singing yet until they grow older. Except we start to break it down deliberately, which we can. But for book, we're not just hearing songs. We are seeing drama, Bible drama being played out live. And then the good thing about it is that it refers back to the day life, like our real day. So we're not just seeing David and Goliath, for instance, um, in the Bible, we're not just seeing that being played out. We're seeing children in this modern day it's being in a situation in their own age, peculiar to their own age. And then, yeah, they, you know, the super book, <laughs> the magic, whatever it is, that takes them to travel back into the Bible to that particular Bible story that relates to this situation those children are in at that time. By the time they finish playing out or watching or being even part of, you know, so these children in the super book travel back in time and then they are involved, they are being part of this particular Bible story, for instance, David and Goliath. So they could even be part of the war and they may be part of the soldiers and they are hiding behind the soldiers and like, oh, what would David do at that point? And then by the time they finish watching that or experiencing that, they travel back in the situation they are in, and then they now know what to do based on what they've learned in the story they were just part of. If that makes sense. So, Superbook will definitely introduce your children deeper into the scriptures and how they can ex <laughs> how they can relate it to real life story. So another is um, the Bible Project, which is the fifth one and the last on this Christian um, collection that I'm suggesting or recommending. Um, truth be told, I have not explored this so much because maybe I, I feel it's not it's not it's not appropriate yet for my girls. Not appropriate in the word appropriate. I mean, they might not be able to relate well with it because they are still young. So for me, Bible Project is for older children, just like Superbook. Just that Superbook is more animated and more dramatic and more maybe I don't know. But really, I haven't explored. My, I will do that. I will explore it more. But it's the one that I have heard. A lot, someone recommended it to me. I heard it. I was in a meeting and someone said, Oh, now my their children, they value the fact they enjoy the concept of the word of God more when they, in fact, they are now even addicted to the Bible project. So they break down Bible stories like that, like that for children and even older children. So please do check out these five recommendations. Now, being an Afrocentric person that I am, there's one more. If you want to join, maybe you, you feel your child is so attached to Coco Melon Bar. Is there no other one that at least is decent? Grace's Corner. So my friend told me about Grace's Corner some time ago. And I mean... Sorry, I'm not singing any of their songs here, so I'm not going to flag my video. But it shows an African girl which <laughs> like there are different songs that that encourages black hair so if you are maybe a child if you have a child that is in the midst of maybe white children in the abroad <laughs> or you are, you just want your child to get to know more of herself or enjoy being an african that you are this grace's corner is very educational at the same time afrocentric so there is this one that i love my hair so you have black hair you have long hair you have curly hair whatever type of hair you have i love it and then the beat of the song is no is not the oimbo type of beat it is now afro beat what is afro beat well shall get please check it out you wonder that's not what i'm saying Thank you if you stay to the end of this video. But stay if you haven't yet, please do well to subscribe. I do parenting content every single week. Montessori based videos too because I'm a trained Montessorian and um Kingdom Parenting generally. That would definitely bless you. Please do well to hang around if you have it already. Thank you so much for being part of this community. See you in my next video. Bye.